in this video, I will show you how to set the parameters of our radar speed sign through these four buttons manually. Uh, so let's start with uh, the function of these four buttons. The first one is for enter the menu, and uh, the second one is for reduce the value, and uh, the third one is for add value, and uh, the last one is for save. And so totally, we have four parameters to be set. The first one is the overspeed value, and uh, next is the speed unit. We can choose between the kilometers and miles. And uh, the third one is the brightness. Uh, we can adjust uh, the brightness. And uh, the last one is the power supply. We can choose between the solar power and the main power. Okay, first we, uh, we set the first parameter, the overspeed value, and uh, we press the first button for about two seconds to enter the menu. And now you can see it's the first menu, and uh, we press the last button to enter it. And uh, we can press the uh, third button to add the value. And when we set the value that we want, we can press the last button to save it. So we finished the first setting of the overspeed value. And now and then we can set the next parameters. It's the speed unit and Similarly, we press the first button for two seconds to enter the menu, and now it's two, so we we can just uh, enter through the last button, and uh, uh, the one is for the kilometers, and uh, the zero is for mile, so you can choose what you want through the second or third button, like this, to choose and uh, save it to the next button. And next we set the uh, third parameter, that is the brightness, and similarly we press the first button for two seconds to enter the menu. And uh, now it's three, so we press the last button to enter. And uh, now you can see it shows the brightness level. We can choose uh, from one to ten degrees through the second or the third button. Okay, so so when we set the brightness that we need, we can press the last button to save. And next, we can set the last parameter, the power supply. Uh, so firstly, we press the first button for two seconds and the menu. And uh, we press the third button to choose the menu. So we choose the fourth menu and uh, enter. And the one is the solar power, and the zero is the main power. So we can choose the zero or one through the second or the third button. Now it's main power, and uh, we can save it. So you can see now it's the uh, main power. Uh, so if we choose the solar power, and you can see uh, it will not light up when there's no vehicle is detected, unless 
it detects something. So it's good for energy savings. 